It's a beautiful day, and I thought I'd come to you. Today, my beautiful people out there in my wonderful world, Universal World of Peeps, today I thought we'd be doing something with potatoes, 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 whatever way you like them. But I couldn't find no potato um, glasses, so I found these. They're pineapples, but they look like a potato. So this is today we have the old, the homage to the potato. Now, the reason I decided I wanted to do something potatoey. Is the other <laughs> yes, because the other day I did a Sunday roast and I made some mashed potatoes. And as I was mashing them bad boys, I thought, you know what? Just because I know how to mash a potato don't mean everybody else out there does. And I know there's different type part. We go out <laughs> universally to the world. <laughs> so not everybody say, a lot of people say in countries that eat a lot of rice, they may not really know nothing about no mashed potato. But I'm going to show them how to do it. But I thought, I can't just do mashed potatoes. Because, to be honest, potatoes are one of my favorite foods in the world. I live by a potato. Especially <laughs> at night. You live by a potato. Because it's a potato chip. It's a potato crisp. Yeah. I love me some potatoes. <laughs> so, we're going to, in this video, I'm going to try and do potato, potato, at least Six ways. Six? We're going to try. Right, challenge on. Challenge on. Six things to do with a potato. So the first thing we're going to do for the mash, I'm going to just show you. I, I'm coming to you. I'm coming I to you. have got a pot of, with some potatoes okay, now. I've got a question for you. Yes. Sorry to be interrupting. I noticed that you kind of slice them. Does it matter? I mean, I, when I do mine, I cube them. Is it just preference? All right, I'm going to explain why yeah. I slice them. Okay. The reason I slice them is because when you're making mashed potatoes, it's best to make sure they're uniformed in size. These cook quicker mm -hmm. if you slice them. Oh, okay. And that's the reason I slice them, because they cook quicker. Also, when you're making a mashed potato, some people go, oh, no, you boil the water and you drop them in. No, you don't. You put them into cold water. There's a chemical reaction that happens. I could tell you what it is. <laughs> do you if know, I, do you if know I, what it is? If I Google it. Okay. <laughs> but I've read about it and I know it makes a better mashed potato. Also, you season your pot. Yeah. Put that salt, put that seasoning. You know what? I'm going to put some of Mama's Cajun seasoning on up in there as well. Because mashed potatoes, potatoes take on the flavor mm -hmm. as they are cooking. Okay. See, All I, right? I Rather never, than afterwards. I would never have known to do that. Yes, you must season it before while it's boiling. I always salt the water. I salt it, but I'm putting some seasoning yeah, see, flavor. See, when I make mashed potatoes, I, or I always put Cajun seasoning in it once I'm mashing it. Yeah. So that's the better way to this do it. This is a better way because it's taking that, it's boiling those flavors on into it. Okay. All right, so we're going to leave that because while those are boiling I'm going to move on to I'm going to take my glasses Please, off. Please mum I was about to say I, like to, I think people want I want to see your eyes it's freaking well, me I, out. I, they would just make me all hot. <laughs> it's freaking me I out. I was getting hot up in there. <laughs> Look at that let me dab down. Did me dab down. All right I'll put that in the rubbish for you. No I need it. Oh, I'm here. Okay. So I put these up here though because I like them. Okay. Because I like them. So first thing first we're going to do, before we start the mashed potatoes, we're going to do some dolphin wasp potato. <gasps> Mother! I said the word. I must admit I've been practicing it all morning. Okay. I usually say deep potatoes <laughs> and daffinazzi or whatever. But, they're, I, but I had in my mind, you have to think of a dolphin. Yes. And when you think of a dolphin, <laughs> you get the dolphinazzi potatoes. <laughs> you just said it perfectly. Dolphinase. Dolphin wasp. Dolph oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so... To make it, you get yourself enough. Oh, the other thing about mashed potatoes, the, the best thing for you to use is to use a good potato. These are Mars Piper potatoes. And they are, you want... You, you Maris want, Piper. Maris Piper, yeah. yeah. You want a potato that's kind of 
that's not too, too waxy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're going to get a good potato. Okay. Here we go. So, hold, get yourself a peeler. Hold it in your hand. Start at the top and pull. All right? And literally, you let the peeler do the work. Hang on, let me just zoom in so I can really see what you're doing. Okay, so just grab it and just pull it out and then turn your potato. Really easy. Yeah. If you don't have... Oh yeah, I was, I was about to say, can you do it with a knife? Of course. Girl, you know me. <laughs> I know you. Not everybody got one of them. We share the same brain, what so, can I say? we start at the top and literally just pull it, pull it down, alright? So, you can use your finger, your thumb, to kind of guide. Mm -hmm. Try not to take too much of the potato off. Alright? There we go. Cool. Now, I'm not too bothered about getting every single eye knotting everything out of potato. To me, that's flavor. Yeah, me either. Right, that's flavor. Keep them in. So, okay. in order to make Dolphin Wise potatoes, you could get you one of them old uh, slicer things. Well, well, maybe if we see if we can find a link for a slicer and put it in the description. Yeah, we'll give you a slice because you can use one of what are them things called? Um, not a marionette. Uh, 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 oh, you oh, know what they call? Oh God, a guillotine type no, thing. No, 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 no. What are they called? Oh, oh, ah, my, it's on the tip of it's my tongue. It's on my tongue as well. But like, if y'all know oh, what we're shoot. talking about, uh, please Hannah, come Hannah, in and let us called, know. Um, you know when you do this. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 I got one over here. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. You stay there. Let me go get it. What's it called? And then they might tell me what it is. But they won't see it until it goes out. And I want to know what it's called now. I'm following you. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. These sort of yes, things. Yes, I know. Uh, come, come over here. Um, uh. I ain't using it though. What's it called? It's doing my head in. I can't think of the name. But. It's on, alright, you know, so, it's probably going to come to me in the, in the middle of the night. So, what we want to do. That's a bit too thin for Dauphin Noir. For mine, anyway. Yeah, it's a bit better. Okay, so we're going to slice them. Try and get them a little bit even. Well, I'm getting a pretty good thin slice going yeah, on Yeah, but you here. don't want them too thin. But that, what, the ones you, yeah, the first couple you did were too thin, but those are perfect. Okay, so. Oh God, I still can't think what that thing is called. Me either. And also, you want some garlic, all right? See, I taught mum this recipe. Yes, you did. I always, used to, I always do dolphin mob potato. I love them. I love them too. But and Mum was like, ooh, so I told her how to make it. Yeah. So if you hear me talking lots on this video, that's it's because I have like instructed Mum on this one. How to do this, okay? So, yes. here we go. Our garlic. Yep. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to use this absolutely gorgeous piece of equipment. This was given to me by one of you, one of my lovely Patreon. Ellis and David, thank you. I still use my diffuser and I absolutely love it. Thank you. They we love sent you. Me, they sent me these over for Christmas. And I just love them. Mom. I love them. <laughs> so, here we go. To this, I now am Katrina. Mandolin. That's the it's one. It's called a mandolin. It's called a mandolin. Oh, see? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Now, um, I don't know if Katrina does this in her recipe, but I'm doing it in mine. What do you do? I am going to line it with some butter. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, first thing is we're going to just get some butter, and we're going to line it. See, I don't, but now I will. <laughs> that's going to make it even more delicious. It's going to make it delicious, <laughs> trust me. Put some Cajun seasoning that bad boy as well. Yeah, I am. Butter. I'm going to season it. <laughs> See, this is Katrina's recipe. But this is what I'm doing, yep. is what I want y'all to do Absolutely. it. Make it your own. Absolutely. Make it your own, become the bug. So, to this, I'm oh, going to add. How butter you put in there? It's quite nice. Quite a bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to sprinkle. Okay, so just a little bit of seasoning. Just a little bit of seasoning. Okay. Then we are going to. I think you need to wash your hands. I am. Now. I am. Wait a minute. I ain't going to wash my hands. Get no? this butter. Put it in here. Why would I get rid of that butter? Don't bin it, spin it. Don't bin it, spin it. <laughs> how do you think I'm going to wash this butter away? I'm still learning, Mum. What can I say? No, paper towel it off. <laughs> because you know why I could use that paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> I can use that paper towel 
to <laughs> line something else. Okay, so Katrina, yes. help me through it. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to put one of your potatoes at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Let's put that two. That fits perfectly. Okay, now sprinkle some of the garlic, just a little bit of garlic, um, and some salt and pepper. Oh, Not yeah. too much. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then top it. It's like a lasagna. Now some more potato, garlic seasoning, and then you pour the cream on top once once you've layered once it. Once it's up. all layered. Yeah. Okay. So you've got some more garlic in there. Really now good. normally when I make it, I make a much bigger. We make dish. a big one, but we're doing this because I'm trying to get quite a few different ones in. Yeah. And let's face it, we don't want to be eating potatoes for the next seven days. No, we don't. Well. Well, we do. <laughs> I, I do. You would. Did the garlic go in? I didn't yes, see. it did. Excellent. And then some more garlic. See, because normally if you make a big one, when you cut into it once it's ready, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we'll cut this. This is my this. favourite way to eat a potato, I have to say. I we love, will cut into this. I love dolphin or potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'll do, Mum. And then I'd say maybe one more layer, and then that because you you don't want it to be too too far to the top. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so these potatoes are going straight in here to finish boiling. Excellent. Okay. So you want to have a preheated oven, which is the oven on? Yes, it is. Fabulous. So then do what, this. What, what, how, how, everyone wants to know how hot your oven is. Tell them because it's universal. It's okay. always. It is at about two hundred and eighty to two hundred. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to take some single cream, okay, and okay, pour it slowly because you want it to get into all of those cracks. So yeah, pour it into the gaps, what I'm saying, and then it will fill all the way to the top. Fabulous. Oh man, this is mine, I can't wait. Now because it's, you know, you've got so many layers of potatoes, you'd normally need to cook this for about half an hour to 45 minutes. Because this is a smaller one, it might not need as long. Okay, so should I season the top? Yeah, season I'm the top. I'm going to season the top just with the oven cage just to give it that colour. Yeah, and then pop it and in And then the we're going to pop this into the oven. Okay, so that's potato dish number one done. Potato dish number one. Right. Okay, so let's clear this. Okay. Now, for my next dish. I, earlier, let me just get it out, in preparation, I mashed up some potatoes because I want to also show you what you can do with leftover mashed potatoes. So I want y'all to pretend <laughs> we've gone back in time <laughs> and I have cooked my potatoes. <laughs> We have eaten our potatoes, <laughs> and it's the next day. Fabulous. It's morning time. Now, one thing I love in the morning, so let me turn this on, is a potato pancake. Oh, yeah. Absolutely love them. So, we are going to make two types of potato pancakes, okay? I'm going to make one. I'm going to use some... Uh, here we go. Where is my knife? My little knife. I'm going to do one with, let me cook this bacon off first, with some bacon. Mm -hmm. So I've got some back bacon here. I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook that separately. Mm -hmm. Just put a little bit, just a teeny bit of oil. See, over here in England, we have different types of bacon. In America, y'all just have bacon. Pretty much streaky. Here we have back bacon, middle bacon, streaky bacon. I love middle bacon. Okay, it bacon. just depends on what part of the pig it comes from. So I'm going to cook that. While that is cooking, I'm going to cut up a little bit of spring onion. Oh, that's a big one. It's a big one, yeah. Are oh, those ones we got on special at Tesco's the other day? No, 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 no. Are thing. you joking? I got I go to Tiba to oh, my okay. specialist. They oh, do okay. the best one. They do big bunches. You get two, four pounds. No. Is, yeah, and they're the giant, giant ones. Okay, looks like I'm going so, to Tiba. So, go to Tiba. Okay. I love Tiba. It's a Mid-Eastern um, store. It's where I get a lot of my spices and things. Yeah. Local business, small business. Okay, so we've got that. 
So, we're going to take... So that's just cold mashed that potatoes. Is pure cold mashed potatoes. Nothing else Nothing in it. Nothing else in it. Okay. Other than the salt that I fried. Okay. Right. So, I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm going to throw it on over to there. Okay. So we're going to do two, two lots, okay? Let me just check my bacon first. Did you want the bacon cooked? Yeah, I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook. You want to cook your bacon. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, to this one, I'm going to add some onion. And then I'm going to put some onion over to this one. I'm going to put a little bit of coriander. And um, as this is my um, vegetarian one, we're going to put a little bit of cheese into this. Oh. Okay, so let's see here. Um, the bacon's done, so we're going to take that bacon off, let that cool down a bit. And what I want to do is I just want you to chop it up. And this is something really tasty to do. Now you can do this for breakfast or you can actually cook them up. They can be eaten cold, and you can put them in your lunch box, okay? So, this one here, so in my pan, I've got just a little bit of olive oil. Heat that up. And, so, my, my, um... Which one are you doing first? Veggie I'm going to do the first. veggie one first, okay? okay? Right. So, a bit of salt. So, sorry, the veggie one's got spring onion, coriander, and cheese in it. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is take this in my hand mm -hmm. and mix that all together. So now I always fail. Whenever I make potato pancakes, like they always fail. I've tried everything. I've tried coating them in flour to try mm -hmm. and bind it. You don't need any necessary? flour. You don't need so anything. What's, what's the trick? The mom? trick Why is am to I going, make sure are they cold or are you trying to do them straight from hot potatoes? The thing is, to, for the best one, is to do it the next day uh -huh. or really cool it down. So straight from the fridge. Straight from the fridge okay. and be patient. Okay. So okay. now this, just going to lay it in. And what I do is spin it around just a bit so I know I've covered it in that oil. Okay, so it doesn't, so, that, so it doesn't stick. So it's not going to stick. Okay. So go back over here. We've got the onion and now we've got bacon. Oh my gosh. That looks and I'm going to put a teeny bit of garlic in this one. Oh, 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 oh mom. <laughs> Me. There's some bacon there that you missed. No, I haven't. <laughs> That's what. Mmm. <laughs> mm. And remember, just kind of work it a bit. Mm -hmm. Using your thumb to get it. Mmm. That's delicious. That bacon. It's really nice. Mm. <laughs> and then let's just spin it around, and then just leave it. Okay. Now the best thing to do with these are to just leave them. All right. Okay. Give me a sec. I am gonna wash my hands. Okay, get my. I see you've got an egg down. Yes, What's happening? I'm intrigued. It's going to clear away these. Mum, should I throw away the peel peelings, or do you want to use them for like I don't know crisps? Well, I would normally I would use these kind of like for crisps, but we're not going to do that today. Okay. So I will. You'll let me bin it. Um, no. Yeah, I'll let you bin it. <laughs> Yeah, you can bin it today. <laughs> I, I I wouldn't be, but I got too many other things to do. Fine. So bin it. That's why I asked. <laughs> All right. So now, okay. Can you hand me that? Hand you what? The bag of panko. Oh, okay. Yeah. Panko. What are you up to? So now, let me just get these out. These are. Some breadcrumbs to Japanese panko, and what we're going to do next is going to get some more of this. Now, with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to juice them up. I'm going to add the rest of that garlic. So this is still cold mashed potato. Cold mashed potato. Okay. This time, I'm going to add a tiny bit of my cream cheese. Okay. And then we're just going to fork that through. Yum, yum. Yum-a-dum-dum. 
Okay, now. I have no idea what you're making. I know you way. don't. I'm going to surprise you. Now, have you noticed how I have not touched that these potato pancakes? Leave them. Yeah, we're cooking now, in real time. We haven't stopped since we put them on. Okay, so just spin them around. So now you want to carefully see if this is going to go. Cooked a bit too high. Yeah, turn my heat down. down. Turn my heat down. Turn my heat down because what I wanted was the crust. Yeah, that's all right. You watch this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Piece that bad boy back together. <laughs> and just get it nice and low. And let's just let that finish crusting up. Okay. And here in the back, I think, yeah, our potatoes are ready, but I'm going to leave that for the moment. We're going to come back to that after you're leave we it do on, this. You're switch it off. No, I'm going to just take it. Yeah, let me switch it off. Just leave that. So, so this is cold mashed potatoes, cream cheese, cream cheese, little bit of garlic, little bit of garlic. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a little bit of cheddar cheese. In now, is that red Leicester? Mm -hmm. Whatever cheese you have, don't Whatever. worry. Don't, don't worry, worry about, about trying to find red Leicester if you can't find it. Just use what you've got. Okay, now I'm going to crack an egg. I need a bowl actually. Got a fork. I thought I had a fork here. It's, you used it to mash the potato. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's all right. So I'm going back to it. Okay. And we're just going to beat an egg. Okay. Oh, what am I going to cook it on? I guess I'm going to cook it on. Hold on. I'm on a small tray. Just stay there while I get one. It's here. Right. Okay, so I've got myself a baking, um, just kind of like a cake tin. You can use any tin. Um, I'm going to go back over here, get that little leftover butter. Oh, yeah. That little butter that Katrina wanted me to wash off my fingers. <laughs> and we're just going to do that. Yep, I stand corrected. Okay. So, this part here is a little bit tricky because your hands ugh, can get... Let's just take a little bit of flour. What are you doing? Watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these mm -hmm. and I'm going to roll them. I know what you're doing. <laughs> and I'm going to roll them in a little bit of flour. And roll them in a little bit of this. Then. Okay. You've rolled that, rolled it in flour, rolled it in egg. Oh, I know what you're doing. And then we're going to Roll it. And the panko. So we are making our little potato croquettes. Croquettes, nice. Okay, but cheesy potato croquettes. So remember, a little bit of flour. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are gluten, you know, got a gluten allergy, you do not have to. But then you ain't going to be able to use the panko. So, yeah. there we go. <laughs> this isn't for you. Cool. Okay, so let's just get these. So uh, hang on, so at my count so far we've got potato cakes one, dovenor potatoes two, croquets three, and we're about to make mashed potatoes, so that's four. Yep. Okay, so you've done four so far. Uh, yep. Remember, I got two different types there. Oh, yes, that's five. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Crafty. <laughs> <laughs> I got veggie and I got meat. Crafty. Okay, so okay. five. And you only said you were going to do six. And I'm probably going to do more because I've got a few more things to do. Okay, cool. All right, so. So shoot, these are going to be for dinner tonight. Yeah, I was about to say, they've gone a long way. I might make these for my kids. I think your kids would like Can them. Can I take some panko? Yeah. He's, he's, these he even claims to not like mashed potatoes, but he does like things that have mashed potato in it. That makes mm -hmm. sense. I think he likes waffles, so... Yeah. He, okay. He so let's would. just do this. Yeah, okay with this. 
Okay, and then this goes in the oven. In the oven. All right, now right. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Right. Be back at. It. All right, now as you can see, my potatoes are done. So what we need to do now is we need to drain these potatoes. It is important that you drain them. I tend to drain it and leave it to sit because what you don't want is watery mashed potatoes. That's another mistake I make. I never let, I, I just pour it off and then put it straight in the thing and no. go and make it immediately. Now, what you just saw me do just now is I drained it that way. I don't normally do that. I yeah. usually drain it into another pot because I always use my starch water for gravy and other things. But because I'm not cooking but moving on, I got rid of it because what I want to show you, but that's okay. Look, I've got some down there. It's that starch that you want to get where you need them to sit. All right. While that's happening, let's take our potato pancakes off. This is, you know what, Mum? I Look thought I knew how to make mashed potatoes. Look at that. That looks great. See? Yeah. Now watch this. Come on. There we go. Lovely. Let's just get that. I thought I knew how to make mashed potatoes, and so far, there's two tips just from making this video. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's going to change the way I make them. So. Yeah. Thank you. So. Hang on, you've got the thing on still behind you. Yeah, I know, because I want it on. Oh, okay. I'm not finished with my mashed potato. Oh. Watch. Oh, Watch. okay. God. This... So, back to our mashed potatoes. Okay. I'm just going to pour that little bit of proper potato water, mm -hmm. starch water, which is excellent. So, this is the same pot. I'm putting my pot back onto the stove. And you keep the stove on. Keep my stove oh, on. See, I don't do that either. Then I'm going to... Sorry, can I just say, you never taught me how to make mashed potatoes. Because I assumed you knew, and that's, that's a mistake I made. You didn't teach me. I, All right. I don't ever do any of this stuff. So now, I'm going to put some butter. In the pan. In the pan. Okay. Then I'm going to add my, my potato. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm going to also, at this stage, add my milk. Okay, let me see how much milk you put in. Okay, all right. And that butter, because it's at the bottom of the pan, mm -hmm. it is melting it. Mm -hmm. Now, um, let me get a fork, because I want to show you something, guys. Let me just get a fork. Mm -hmm. Two forks, in fact. <laughs> Stella sleeping in the... Hang on. I'm going to zoom in on Stella asleep in the mum's chair. Oh, she sees. <laughs> okay. Now, this is a potato masher, okay? They come in all sorts of different sizes and shapes. But I'm not going to make the assumption that you have a potato masher. Because if you never made mashed potatoes, why would you? Okay? But you got a fork. Hopefully. So, with this, I just want to show you, if you get your potatoes actually to the point, you can actually, oops, you can cut in... Mm -hmm. So you've got two forks there. I've got two forks. Okay. And I'm cutting in and then using the fork because that's like a masher. So you can mash it with a fork. So it take a little bit more time, but you could mash these quite well. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to now get my masher out. Okay. And what I do is you spin it. Knock off. Come back again. Mash. Mash, spin. And then off. I spin. Because you want to put the work in. And we, look what I'm doing. I'm going to the sides. And then knock it off. Not creamy. Now, mm. Mm. yum yum. And then she gets to whip it with pork. And then I whip it. Okay. Now, with this, I'm going to do another potato recipe for you. Okay. You can get your mashed potatoes now. Turn your heat off. Mm -hmm. Add your mashed potatoes, and this is if you were doing, say, like a little dinner party, and you want it to not be fancy. Get a little bit fancy with it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And then, let's just go top it with a little bit of cheese here. And we're going to put that straight into the oven. My goodness, Mom. Okay, let's just check our door for now. I can see they're bubbling. You take them out, show I you? I don't know how long I've been in. I mean, I, the way I test them is to um, stick a knife. And if a knife goes through comfortably, then they're cooked. Okay, let's try. No. No, so that needs more time. There you go. So let's leave those on. Okay. Okay, so we have our meat, our bacon, and spring onion potato cakes. We have our vegetarian cheese and spring onion and garlic potato cake. We have just plain old, main old mashed potatoes. We have potato croquettes. Four. We have potato dauphinoise. Five. And we have our cheesy, cheesy mashed potato. That's six. Six. Now, the other thing you can do with this mashed potato, obviously, is once you've done this, you can then go on to create other meals. Mm -hmm. Like my poor man's pie. Yeah. Like a fish pie. Yeah. Shepherd's pie. Uh, shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. You can do all sorts with a mashed potato. So would you advise in that case, if because I know lots of people, I know I do, I like to plan my meals. Mm. If, you're, if you're menu planning and you're having yeah. like, a, like maybe a roast on a Monday, make more mashed potatoes yes. so you can then use your mashed potatoes. I I'm not always Sunday, so make Monday more. You can make, always. Yeah. Always make one and a half portions. Okay. okay. Don't just do, if you're cooking for four, make potatoes for six. Mm -hmm. Because then you've got that leftover. Mm -hmm. So then, then the next day for dinner, you could do the croquettes. The croquettes. Yeah. You don't even have to use those croquettes on the Monday. Skip a day. Yeah. Do them on the Tuesday. Because they're in the fridge. They're in the fridge yeah. And yeah. they're ready yeah. for you. Yeah. All right. Um, you could also look at it and think, mm, maybe I'll make a fish pie later in the week. Put it to the side. Yeah. Okay? And then come back to it. So, all about the potato. Oh, we'll come back and show you the finished version of the croquettes. And the the croquettes, we're going to show you all of those towards the end. But I hope, oh, I hope you've enjoyed um, cooking with us today our potato, potato. But remember, I need you to like us. I need you to share us. I need you to become a Patreon. Because <laughs> what? A big job. Why'd you say it like that? Because it just sounds so royal and regal. <laughs> I want them to come and join because I need to show you something. Oh no, I'm gonna save that for the next video. I got a surprise for y'all. Y'all gonna love this next surprise. So don't sign off yet, Mum. I'm not signing off. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just I'm just happy. You just I want y'all to realize we're back in the kitchen. This is the first time we have filmed. Well, this is the first time we have filmed in my kitchen I'm in back. the year 2018. I've not been here all Katrina year. has been ill. She's been recuperating from her surgery. I know it's March. It's a long <laughs> it was time. A long, a long road. It was a long road, but we're back. We're back in the green machine. Have you seen? I even got the oh, little yeah, backdrop. Oh yeah, the banner. Hang on, let me just. I got my zoom banner. In. Got my soul in the bow, yeah. <laughs> just knock your head in the pan. I know. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. All right, Mum. I've got seven minutes of battery, so we're gonna have to. All right. I got another battery. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 What's in between, Mama and a battery? <laughs> like I ain't got a charger. I got a charger. So we're going to come back to you with these dishes. See you in a minute. All right. I am very, very conscious that I said I was going to do you six dishes. And I kind of, you know, put the potato pancakes as one, as two, because one was veggie and one was meat. But you know what? I didn't need to do that because I got another recipe coming at you. All right. This leftover mashed potato here that we have, we're going to use that up right now. I'm going to make us some lunch. So. I found in the fridge some salmon. So, first thing, look, there's the pan. I'm not going to wash that pan. Why would I wash that pan? It's got the seasoning from the potato. So, I'm just going to keep that. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. I'm going to season my pot with some Cajun seasoning. And then to that, I'm going to add some spring onion. Is that the rest of the other spring onion? This is the, the leftover spring onion from the potato. Now, if you notice, I've only used one. So, throw that straight in the pot. To that, I'm going to do 
some red pepper. And Katrina, is this better for you if I don't dice it too small? Yeah. Uh, so I'll leave it like that. Yep, thank you. Some red pepper. And mushrooms. She finds it difficult to digest, so we're just going find to... Find it impossible. Well, impossible. <laughs> so we're going to cut those in half. That way she can easily identify them mm -hmm. and pick them out. But for us who don't have a problem, put those in. To that, I'm also going to add some broccoli. And these are just vegetables that were in your fridge. These are vegetables that I found at the bottom of my fridge. So if somebody else wants to make this, it hasn't got to be these vegetables. It doesn't. It no? can be whatever you like. Okay. Then I've got some salmon here. And I'm just going to cut it into nice big chunks. I love salmon. And salmon's so good for you. It's rich in vitamin D. Oh, that's great. So it's one of those superfoods that we need. And I'm also going to throw in some prawns. I have to let those little, little prawns. So I'm going to put a little bit of coriander. So all we're doing really is trying to cook off the salmon a bit. It's going to go in the oven so it will finish off cooking in the oven. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much there because we don't want to overcook our salmon. Really, if you notice, what I'm trying to do is seal it. All I'm doing is sealing that salmon on all sides as well as the broccoli. Can you look at the difference in the broccoli? Can you see the different yeah, color it's gone? Color. It's taken on a nice shiny texture. It's um, coloring to it. It's lovely. Now, off the stove. Oh, oh. And all I'm going to do is add that. It smells amazing. No lemon or anything? Oh, you wait. I'm not finished. Sorry, Mom. I'm not finished. I'm going to put some lemon and cream in this <gasps> now. So, where's my lemon? Oh, here we go. Stella must have smelt the food. So, then now, now just literally straight over with your lemon juice. And get that pulp if you can get it as well. And then just give that a mix up. And then to that, I'm going to add, where's our cream? There we go. Just going to add the remainder. Oh my goodness, Mom. What are you doing? Of our cream. And then I'm going to take our mashed potato. So we've really kind of just made like a little fish pie here. Just by opening the fridge for the milk, for to get milk out for tea, and then you saw the ingredients and went, let me make something else. Yep. That's there we how go. my mum's brain works. <laughs> so. Amazing. And this is only going to take about 15 minutes. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Well, everything's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, so a little bit of cheese on top. A little bit of cheese on top. Breadcrumbs, if people fancied it. If they fancied it. There we nice. go. Straight in the oven. And I think... Stick. Check the dolphin oil. I'm going to check everything because I think it's time to take these things out of the oven. Okay. I had a... Oven glove. Oh, right behind tea you. Tea towel. I want a tea oven. towel. Okay. I want a tea towel. Okay. It's, too, it's thinner. Okay. I have to feel the heat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Most other people I would recommend using an oven dish. Oven cloth, sorry. Right, so... Oh, look at that. That's perfect. And that's that is what you want. Absolutely perfect. And that, and wait a minute. So, so that's the Dolphin Noirs. Oh my God, Mum. This is so naughty. And look at these. They look amazing. Just move that out. Yeah, well, look at that. Can you see the cheese melting yes, out of those? Yes. I'm just going to just give them a little bit of a turn. Lovely. 
Do they need more cooking? Do Not really. They yeah, do? they're done. They're, they're done. done. They're done. Beautiful. Look at that. And let's just put this at the top. At the top, yeah. Now, we would have been able to show you all of the completed <laughs> dishes. <laughs> We but, went to town on the potato cake. The potato cakes were just so good, I must admit, <laughs> we could not resist. So I've got a confession to make. While you were making that dish, I was kind of just... <laughs> so, so they've gone down even further. Yes. So if you can look here and see, from the simple basic potato, we have got our potato dauphinoise, our creamy, and let me cut yeah, into cut this into it, just must. so you can see the and difference. And also into the dauphinoise as well. The difference between how fluffy. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Um, just look fluffy, look fluffy, soft mashed potato. And this is perfect for a dinner party. Yeah. And these are perfect, just individual. How is it? Can I taste the dauphinoise? Is that mm. okay? Really hot. Love it, love it, love Please it. Be careful. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Look right, at that. that. I don't know if I can. It's really hot. You need to let yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to let that cool down a bit, I think. Or maybe I'm not. I'm, I am your daughter. So be careful. I'm going to be careful. Perfect. All right, so this is. Delicious, sir. Huh? With the butter coming through, what I wouldn't normally have done, and that little bit of Cajun gives it just a little bit of a kick. Mm. It's delicious. Mm, that's so good. It's delicious. So, here we go. Okay, so, let me taste the croquettes. Are you saving those for dinner? Those are dinner. <laughs> uh, I'll take one. We can, okay. have, we can try one. Okay. But I'm need for dinner. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look how that just breaks. Oh, wow. Look at that. Try it. I am. <laughs> mm, 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 that crunch. Mm. Got that lovely crunch. That's delicious. Mm. That's mm. really good, Mum. Mm. So, nice work. The next time someone says, What can you do with a little potato? Send them to this video. Just send them straight <laughs> here. Say, Mama gonna throw down six potato recipes. <laughs> and you know how many potatoes I used? How many? Four. No. Four potatoes. Is that it? Well, no, I lie. Six because the other ones were yeah, already done. For, done. So six potatoes, and I managed to get That's all amazing. of these dishes done. That's amazing. So, and wait hang on, on, we haven't even done and we, the, the pie. Let me show you the pie. Because as long as I that can start starts, eating, <laughs> once that starts melting down, mm. so there's your fish pie. So put that back in and finish off. So, for moi, a toi, pour nous, <laughs> à vous, merci, du coup, roku, <laughs> with a little bit of paz, amour, and a whole lot of from the mama, goodbye.